Iowa Catholic Radio presents the Daily Mass from St. Francis of Assisi Catholic Church in West Des Moines. Father Joseph Pins, pastor. Father John Broby, associate pastor. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. With your spirit. It is great for today to celebrate these great mysteries, these great mysteries that Christ has brought to us. But before we begin, let us take time to recall our sins and our failures to better prepare ourselves for these mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis. God said, Let the water teem with an abundance of living creatures, and on the earth let birds fly beneath the dome of the sky. And so it happened. God created the great sea monsters, and all kinds of swimming creatures with which the water teems, and all kinds of winged birds. God saw how good it was, and God blessed them, saying, Be fertile, multiply, and fill the waters of the seas, and let the birds multiply on the earth. Evening came, and morning followed, the fifth day. Then God said, Let the earth bring forth all kinds of living creatures, cattle, creeping things, and wild animals of all kinds. And so it happened. God made all kinds of wild animals, all kinds of cattle, and all kinds of creeping things of the earth. God saw how good it was. Then God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and the cattle, and over all the wild animals, and all the creatures that crawl on the ground. God created man in his image. In the divine image he created him. Male and female he created them. God blessed them, saying, Be fertile and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and all the living things that move on the earth. God also said, See, I give you every seed-bearing plant all over the earth, and every tree that has seed-bearing fruit on it to be your food, and to all the animals of the land, all the birds of the air, and all the living creatures that crawl on the ground. I give all the green plants for food. And so it happened. God looked at everything he had made, and he found it very good. Evening came, and morning followed, the sixth day. Thus the heavens and the earth and all their array were completed, since on the seventh day God was finished with the work he had been doing. He rested on the seventh day from all the work he had undertaken. So God blessed the seventh day and made it holy because on it he rested from all the work he had done in creation. Such is the story of the heavens and the earth at their creation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O Lord, our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. O Lord, our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. When I behold your heavens the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, which you set in place. What is man that you should be mindful of him, or the son of man that you should care for him? 
O Lord, our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. You have made him little less than the angels and crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him rule over the works of your hands, putting all things under his feet. O Lord, our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. All sheep and oxen, yes, and the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fishes of the sea, and whatever swims the paths of the sea. O Lord, our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. Alleluia, alleluia. Incline my heart, O God, to your decrees, and favor me with your law. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. When the Pharisees, with some scribes who had come from Jerusalem, gathered around Jesus, they observed that some of his disciples ate their meals with unclean, that is, unwashed hands. For the Pharisees, and in fact all Jews, do not eat without carefully washing their hands, keeping the tradition of the elders. And on coming from the marketplace, they do not eat without purifying themselves. And there are many other things that they have traditionally observed, the purification of cups and jugs and kettles and beds. So the Pharisees and scribes questioned him, Why do your disciples not follow the tradition of the elders, but instead eat a meal with unclean hands? He responded, Well, did Isaiah prophesy about, prophesy about you hypocrites? As it is written, This people honors me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching as doctrines human precepts. You disregard God's commandment, but cling to human tradition. He went on to say, How well you have set aside the commandment of God in order to uphold your tradition. For Moses said, Honor your father and your mother, and whoever curses father or mother shall die. Yet you say, If someone says to father or mother, Any support to you might have had from me is Corban, meaning dedicated, dictated to God. You allowed him to do nothing more for his father or mother. You nullified the word of God, for in favor of your tradition that you have handed on, and you do many such things, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we hear about creation. How God created this world. God gave us this great gift. And he made us, man and woman, Adam and Eve, his crown jewel. To really see ourselves as something special. But also knowing that we're not just here to please God, but we're here to work in his world, his creation. He created this great world. He looks at it and is really pleased because he's given us these great gifts of this earth. He's given us this great opportunity to be the caretakers of his creation. Think of it as being that caretaker of your household. What would you want a caretaker to be aware of in your house? Do you want them to keep it clean? 
Put the dishes back where the dishes belong. We've been given this great responsibility by our God. And he gives it to us out of love. And when we start to see that it's with love that he gives this to us, we see it's not about the laws, the regulations, the obligations, but it's about a love. And so that caretaker of the house wants to clean the house, desires to keep things orderly out of love, not out of obedience. Do you see the difference? The Pharisees struggled with that. The Pharisees struggled understanding how much the Father loved them. They only understood the law, the rules. This is how you should do this. But once you understand the love story and how much God loves us and gave us this great earth, this great responsibility, this church, our faith, we don't treat it as an obligation. We treat it out of love and respect. Heavenly Father, we humbly come before you to offer you our prayers and our petitions. For all church leaders, may the Holy Spirit direct them in their service to the faithful. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For civic leaders, may the Lord assist them in honoring and protecting the sanctity of life from conception to natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are suffering from any kind of illness, may the Lord send His healing peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faithful faith community, may the grace of this sacrament transform us in the image of Christ's love and mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who affect, are affected by the earthquake yesterday, as you shook the earth and shook the, the lives of those people, that they turn their hearts to you, Lord, and that you fill them with your love and your graces. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the souls of the faithful departed, especially those who have no one else to pray for them, may they, through the mercy of God, rest in eternal peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, these are but a few of our prayers and petitions. We humbly ask them through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, to become for us the bread of life. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be something to God, the Almighty Father. O Lord, our God, who once established these created things to sustain us in our frailty, Grant, we pray, that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life through Christ our Lord. 
The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, and always and ever to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, and so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels, as in the joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God our host, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered only into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, to be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, you may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. You may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
And deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day. That by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we wait the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away. May this man, the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, friend, from life to us, you receive it. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, by your love, Father, and the Holy Spirit, through your death, get back to the world. Free me by this, your most holy body and blood, from all my sins. Amen. Thank you for your commandments, my Lord, your body for me. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. O God, who have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice, grant us, we pray, so to live, that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit to the salvation of the world, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks. You've been listening to the Daily Mass from St. Francis of Assisi Catholic Church in West Des Moines on the Iowa Catholic Radio Network.